Hi, my name is Michelle Brazos, and I am the Associate Director of Adaptive Oncology at the Ontario Institute for Cancer Research. Today, I would like to present our poster, Walking Cancer Researchers Through Lay Summaries to Storytelling. I am presenting on behalf of my co-authors, patient partners, Susan, Archie, Chris, and Diana. Plain language abstracts are important for information sharing. They are used by funders to share information with the public on funded researcher, as well they are used on public facing websites by research institutions. Whether this text, however, is understandable by the public depends on how well a researcher composes the text. Often researchers simply take their scientific abstract and change a few big words and complex ideas and that's it. No one gives the researcher feedback on their text. And so researchers presume their text is in plain language. As a result, many plain language summaries remain unclear to the general public. To build and reinforce lay storytelling skills, we have experienced that hands-on training is important to skill development. The project began with a self-directed learning step on how to write in plain language. Four patient partners with diverse experiences, Susan, Archie, Chris, and Diana, were engaged in the project. Researchers were given a lecture by a patient partner on why plain language text is important to communicating their research. They were also given tools to use to achieve a lay reading level target. The self-directed learning step worked well for researchers um, to be able to learn how to write in plain language at the given reading level. But it did not help researchers in how to tell their research story. So a hands-on learning step was added to help researchers to be able to write in plain language and tell a research story. Here, patient partners met with researchers to learn about their research. During this meeting, patient partners also walked through a guidance document on how to tell a research story in plain language. Researchers then went away and drafted their research stories, which were reviewed by the patient partner team. Patient partners found these first drafts were often factual stories of the research work rather than engaging stories. Our experience here indicated that the guidance document alone was not enough to learn how to write an engaging research story. Patient partners then walked through their edits and comments with the researchers who then redrafted their stories. By working together, patient partners helped researchers gain an understanding of how to tell an engaging research story understandable by the general public. Final stories were checked by OICR's communication team and posted on the OICR website. An example is given here. In summary, this project has shown us that hands-on interaction between patient partners and researchers was key to learning play language storytelling skills. Thank you.